हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन चैनल दैट इज़ वी आर इन टेक्नो वर्ल्ड एंड इन टू डेज वीडियो आई वुड टेल यू अबाउट द डिस्क शेड्यूलिंग एल्गोरिथम एज लाइक इन केस ऑफ अ डिस्क वी आर हैविंग लाइक डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ एल्गोरिथम लाइक जस्ट लाइक एफ सी एफ एज एस एस टी एफ स्कैन एल्गोरिथम सी स्कैन एल्गोरिथम सो डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ एल्गोरिथम्स वी आर हैविंग इन केस ऑफ डिस्क शेड्यूलिंग but like uh, in case of disk scheduling the first algorithm which we are having is fcfs okay so how to solve that for example like we are having one question that is a disk contains 200 tracks from 0 till 199 and a request queue uh, contains the track number that is 82 170 43 140 24 16 190 respectively and what is the current position of read write head that is 50 what do you mean by current position of read write head read write head means like with the help of which the arm uh, arm means the arm right because we are having the disk like this okay so this is a disk and we are having uh, uh, one arm over here with the help of which like uh, with the help of which uh, like uh, the read read uh, read write head would work okay so it to this read write head works in a forward and backward direction okay in a forward and backward direction that means like we are having total 0 to 199 to me that means 200 tracks we are having so we could denote it in a form of this for example this is 0 and this is the last track that is 199 and the current position of read write head is 50 so for example here we are having 50 okay so just like this you just draw it in your uh, notebook so that you could solve this numerical using fcfs algorithm now what you have to calculate you have to calculate total number of track movements right total number of track movements you have to calculate by read write head means read write head ne kitne movement kiye in a forward and a backward direction so you have to solve it using first come first serve algorithm okay so this is one kind of disk scheduling algorithm okay so how to solve it so for example uh, like uh, from where we have to start we have to start from the 50th position because our current position of read write head is 50 so that is why as this is the fcfs algorithm now the second point which you have to note it down is like this is the fcfs algorithm that means the track which would come first obviously that would be treated first okay the track which came first obviously that would be treated first so from this current read write position we would check the, the track number that is 82 okay because our request queue contains the track numbers given below over here okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 seven tracks we are having and the first track which we are having is 82 that means in which direction we have to move either in the backward direction or in the forward direction 82 82 comes after 50 so that means we have to move forward okay we have to move forward so let us assume we are having 82 over here over here we are having 82 so this is our first track movement okay so here you just write the total track the total track movement equals to 82 minus 50 this is the first track movement plus now uh, like the second track which we are having is 170 okay so 170 obviously this is also in the same direction okay so you just move forward 170 so let us assume 170 is over here okay 170 done so this is the next track okay so track number 2 means this is the next track movement actually uh, these are the tracks these are the track numbers but these are the track movements so this is a second movement okay so it would be uh, 170 minus 82 this is a second track movement now the third track which we are having in case of a disk is 43 that means for tracking this 43 we have to move for like in the, in the backward direction 
we have to move backward and uh, like uh, we have to move back for example uh, like you could assume that 43 is here okay so we would came back just like this okay so this is our next track moment so it would be 170 minus 43 so just uh, look at here carefully this is a third track moment okay now the uh, this has been completed this has been done done okay now the next track is 140 140 that means we have to move forward means in the opposite direction we have to go 140 so let us assume 140 is here okay this is the 140 okay so this is our next movement that means it would be 140 minus 43 140 minus 43 done so now the next track number is 24 24 would be in the opposite direction so let us assume 24 is here right here we are having uh, 24 okay so that means we have to come back over here we have to come back in the backward direction just like this okay this is our next track movement that means it would be 140 minus 24 140 minus 24 now the next track is 16 okay so 16 is also we could assume over here we could assume over here that here we are having 16 okay so this would be like this okay so it would be 24 minus 16 it would be 24 minus 16 this is our next track moment this is our next track moment now the uh, this is also done now the last track which we are having is 190 okay the last track which we are having is 190 okay so 190 would be in the opposite direction that means over here so let us assume 190 is here okay so what you do you just uh, like this read right head would move back it would move back just like this Okay, so that means the next track movement would be 190 minus 16. It would be 190 minus 16. 190 minus 16. Okay, now just calculate it. Even though we are having one other uh, term as well, like uh, you could calculate this track movement just like in another way. This is the first way to calculate the total track movement. The another way which we, uh, the second way in which we could calculate the track movement is like you just check from 50 it is moving in one direction till 170 okay in the one single direction it is moving from 50 to 170 that means our first track movement would be, uh, could be it could be 170 minus 50 done this is the first track movement now the next track movement in the same direction is from 170 till 43 from 170 till 43 so it could be 170 till 43 this is the other track movement now uh, you could check from 43 uh, and uh, from 43 it is moving in one single direction till 140 till 140 so that means this is the third track movement this is one other way the first way was this Okay, this is one other way in which we could uh, like minimize some of the track movement. Okay, that is why I am just uh, telling you this another way as well. Okay, so the next track movement is from 140 to 43. So it could be 140 minus 43. Now the next track movement is from 140 till 16. 140 till 16. So it would be 140 till 16. This is the another track movement and the last one is from 16 till 190 so it would be 190 minus 16 minus 16 okay so that means if we would subtract it so we would get 
of 120 plus we would get over here that means 127 plus uh, from 140 minus 43 we would get 97 then from 140 minus 16 we would uh, get from 140 minus 16 we would get 124 and 190 minus 16 it would be 174 and if you would add all these numbers 1 2 3 4 5 then we would get around 640 okay 642 we would get okay so the total track movement is 642 this is the total track movement okay so just like this you could calculate like how to track the total number of track movement in case of disk scheduling using fcfs algorithm okay so you just try to solve it into your um, uh, like into your uh, notebook you just try to solve it okay it would be done i hopefully and i think this is clear to everyone so thank you thank you so much